I made a video showing you how to create 30 social media posts in bulk and you guys love it. So in this video, I will show you how to do the same with videos. You may have seen simple videos like this riddle on TikTok and Instagram Reels, as they do get millions of views. We will make these types of videos, but this tutorial can also be applied to other videos, like this trending short video that asks people to choose a gift, which also gets millions of views on YouTube. And you can apply it to virtually any videos that you can swap the text, photos, or video clips. We'll open ChatGPT and say give me 30 riddles and their answers in a table. Add a confused or question emoji at the end of the questions. Also add emojis to the answers where possible. And it goes, sure, here are 30 riddles and their answers. So it gave us riddles and answers with different emojis. But this is 25, so I will say, write 5 more following the same format. Now we can go to Canva. To create videos, click on the video tab. You can choose different sizes, but for this tutorial, I'll select mobile videos, which will work for all social media that accept portrait videos. Since we are creating a riddle video, let's go to the element tab and search for riddle. Then click on video to show video results only. You need to find a related background to the video you are making. And this maze video seems to work with the theme of riddles, so we'll go with it. Now this video is 12 seconds, but you can increase or decrease the length by clicking on playback at the top and controlling the speed. So it has increased to 16 seconds, and that will give more room for the video. The next thing I'd like to do is to add an overlay. You can do so by pressing the letter R on your keyboard to add a rectangle. Then scale it up till it fills the canvas. Click the color at the top and change it to black. Then click this shade icon to reduce the transparency to something like 40. The next step is to add the text. So click on text on the left bar and select the first option to add a heading. I'll drag it up and write the topic, in this case, riddles and answers. You can change the font by clicking on this dropdown and select a font of your choice. The one I'll use is a free font called Payton one. Then I'll increase the font to around 64. Then I'll expand the text border and drag it up. You can make it eye-catchy by adding a background to it. To do so, click on Effect and select Background from these options. You can tweak the color and other settings, but I'll leave it this way. Next, I'll duplicate this header by clicking the plus icon or pressing Ctrl plus D. Then drag it downward and remove the background by going to the effects and selecting None. This box will host the riddles, so I'll go back to ChatGPT and copy one of the riddles, then paste it in the box. I will increase the font size to make it bigger and move it upward. It is too dark, so I'll click on color and change it to white. You can also add some effect to it, maybe a shadow or an outline. I'll change the outline to black and increase the thickness to somewhere around 73. The next step is to add a timer. This can be a countdown timer or a progress bar. I'll use the latter option here by adding a rectangle. Then move it downward and scale it till it fills the starting and ending points. Then I can drag it down and change the color to something like red. The next step is to add the answer box. We can reuse this text by duplicating it with the plus icon and drag it downward. Then I'll copy the answer on ChatGPT and paste it into the box. You can then drag the text border and scale it up using one of the handles. The next step is to add some animations. We can start with the heading and click on Animate at the top. You can play around with any of these options. And I'll choose Pop for this and leave it on Enter only. Then we can select the question and choose an animation for it also. I'll choose Ascend and make it reflect on both Enter and Exit. 
we'll find one for the answer as well. This burst looks more appealing, and I'll leave it on enter only. Then for the progress bar, this must be a wiping animation. Then I'll reduce the speed to give people time to answer the riddle. Now if I play this, you can see that everything is displayed together which isn't what we want. So I'll click on the progress bar and click the three dot or right click on my mouse to bring up the menu. Then select show timing. This will bring up the secondary layer because Canva does not have a separate layer for B-rolls yet. So what I want to do here is this. I want the progress bar to start loading after some part or all of the questions have been displayed. So I'll pause the video here and drag the handle from the start to meet the play head. Then I'll play the video. Then I'll want it to stop somewhere around here. So I'll drag the handle from the end to meet the current position. Now, where this bar stops loading should be the same position the question will disappear and the answer revealed. So I'll click on the question and drag the handle at the end to meet the play head. Then click on the answer and drag the first handle to meet the play head. And also, the answer should be in the middle, so I'll click on it and drag it upward. So, let's play it. It looks good, and the next step is to go to the app section on the left and search for Bulk Create. Click the first result and choose Enter Data Manually. You need to first of all clear this table with the trash icon below. Then we can go back to ChatGPT to copy the data. Make sure you start highlighting from the heading and drag downward to copy the first 25 riddles. Then on Canva, kick the first box with the T icon and paste it there. To add another row, click on the last block and another row will appear below. So we can go back to ChatGPT and copy the remaining five. But this time, copy it without the heading, and then paste it to the last row on Canva. A quick note here. If you want the background clip of each riddle to change, you cannot do that here yet. I will show you a workaround in a moment. But if you want to add multiple images or photos, you can do so by clicking on Add Image at the top. I explained that in detail in my previous video, which will be linked at the end of this video and it will be the first link in the description below under related videos. If you are okay with this, click on done.